RV Travel Quest with Robin Sherry. Hi everybody, I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest and I'd like to share with you a story and it's telling you what RV Travel Quest was all about and so the story will be a little personal at the same time I hope inspirational and also tell hopefully of a love story so I'd like to start off with the beginning of the story which started about eight years ago but what I'm hoping at the end of this is it teaches or at least shows people hard work uh, how strong Sherry and I have as a relationship and having goals and believing in the American dream so back in the year 2005 six seven uh, I won't tell you how we got there but we had a lifestyle of good and plenty we had a marketing company that was off the charts sherry was doing accounting we lived a pretty indulgent life and just to make a long story short we had a beautiful home uh, a beautiful motor home and we're talking new on everything new house new motor home uh, a very nice boat uh, um, all new we uh, traveled a lot we did full timing a lot and we would leave our home it was more like uh, snowboarding but uh, uh, money was plentiful it was all great then uh, the recession hit we uh, had to be humble it was stressful and tested even our relationship now you know we've been married for a long time about 35 or 30 years by then uh, we don't run and hide Sherry and I are people that face a problem and start working it so instead of saying the world was terrible and instead of giving up instead of excuses it took us a good year or two to get a plan and that's what started this story and that's really what RV Travel Quest was all about so once we realized what our life was which was minimalist without even wanting to be we uh, jog joggled around a little bit from Phoenix to Washington till I got a chance to go back to an aerospace company that I started with back in my 20s and if anybody knows what it's like to own your own company for several years and then have to go back to that kind of lifestyle I can tell you it was horrible it was five years of just dredging every day I had to go to work however I want to tell you right this minute the company that I was with I am totally grateful so the battle plan was we rented a apartment and, and we went from a couple apartments to keep our overhead low and started going to work and uh, our goal was we knew we would be back when we had a boat again when we had our RV again and definitely if we ever were able to get a home again now Sherry and I are kind of old-timers I guess we believe in the American dream a two-car garage and a home two cars in the driveway the whole thing and I know that a lot of folks in this day and age say that dreams dead I don't believe it I think everybody should have the opportunity to know what it's like to own your own home it's very special I've had several homes throughout my life so we got our apartment we started getting a, a furniture again we started to uh, uh, try to replace the things that we lost and uh, yes this sounds materialistic but it's what we enjoy in life and so it was our measurement of success and so the first thing we worked on was a trailer and it was and we bought a new one and luckily we were able to keep our vehicles through this whole thing anyway it was a long 
five years. Uh, but still plenty of happiness, uh, making the best of everything, and making sacrifices and living a minimalist life to regain our retirement, our savings, to get back to trying to get back to a home. So this story has a happy ending, but it's not the end of the story. What I'd like to tell you today is a, a month, about a month ago, Sherry and I put a bid on a house and we got the bid and we've just signed the papers and we officially now own a home and I'm going to give you a little slideshow of that home. I don't want you to look at it as bragging. What I want you to see as this next clip of this house we bought is accomplishment, uh, hard work, a relationship of being devoted to one another to go back to where we are. Now, the home we got is more simple than anything we've had before. It's a rambler. We do have a swimming pool. Houses, are uh, that's regular down here. So don't think that's uh, an uh, elaborate thing, but uh, it had to be a rambler because we're getting older and we want to, this possibly may be the last house we ever buy. And so um, it doesn't have any steps in it has four bedrooms in it. Uh, we want to be able to accommodate grandkids and, and kids when they come from uh, their other states, they come to visit. It's, uh, it's our home and we bought it. This isn't a rental. This is a real home. Yes, a real mortgage, the whole thing. Basically, it's sh our final check mark to say Sherry and I have recovered completely. We've learned a lot along the way, and we're very proud of ourselves. And our relationship is stronger than ever. Our, uh, to follow up on what we do on this show is RV Travel Quest won't go away. <laughs> we still love RVing. We're not getting rid of our RV. We're just not gonna live in it full time. But we're also launching some new shows and some other things that are not RV related. I think we're also uh, looking at doing uh, Arizona Talk Radio. Uh, we're also looking at uh, launching a new sh uh, uh, Muppet, well it's kind of a Muppet show type thing. Um, and uh, we have the names for all that stuff, we're just not going to say them yet. And so we're quite excited uh, to, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we changed our channel to outdoor travel channel because we also own a boat and there's a lot of great boating and fishing opportunities down here in Arizona. So our channel is going to be very uh, spread into all kinds of outdoor activities. But the bottom line that was the greatest resource and tool for us to recover was our RV. And we're very uh, uh, proactive RV and uh, we won't have as many RV shows as we will outdoor travel and road trips and things like that. The RV will still be a big um, factor for us. And as we get in our 60s, when we can actually retire with Social Security and Medicare, uh, we'll probably either go full timing again, uh, well actually I should say snowbirding or sunbirding, you might say we'd actually take our rig north. So I hope I didn't bore you to death. <laughs> I hope you got out of this a smile. I hope that this can be a inspiration to young people that realize that everybody has their struggles. The American dream is a wonderful dream. And yes, it's harder than it's ever been before. But there's nothing more special than to own your own home. At least give it a try. And if you already have a home and thinking about selling it, I want you to ask yourself to really think that over because to replace the home you already have may be a lot harder at an older age. So I want to thank you all so much for watching our channel. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. But I also wanted to share really what you did know about RV Travel Quest and what it was all about. It was the quest for Sherry and I to get back on our feet and live the American dream that as we see it and we hope that maybe it's something that you see too. 
anyway I thank everybody for their support their uh, laughter with us and there'll be a lot more in the future and uh, I hope once again that we're inspiration to you thank you and we'll see you in the next videos bye thank you so much for listening to our story of RV travel quest please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos and hold on tight because there's a whole lot of new things coming up talk to you later